section of this presentation will focus on the intervention strategies for the successful management of lymphedema. Lymphedema is a disease without a cure. However, lifelong management with the components of complete decongestive therapy can lead to a near-normal return to limb morphology and function. How do you manage lymphedema? A thorough physical exam is felt to be the gold standard for the diagnosis of lymphedema. This includes a comprehensive patient history and systems review, as well as inspection and palpation of the limb or limbs involved. Non-invasive tests such as the stem sign can be incorporated as well. Other tests that can be performed in a hospital or lab setting can determine more accurately the morphology and areas of compromise. However, these tests are reserved primarily for research and difficult cases. These will not be discussed during this presentation. However, a thorough history and physical will be enough to provide you with an accurate overview of the patient's clinical presentation to determine whether or not you are dealing with a lymphedema or a benign form of edema. Lymphedema interventions center around complete decongestive therapy. This therapy is applied in two phases. Phase one, known as the intensive phase, is carried out until the extremity is decongested or has reached a plateau. Phase one is immediately followed by phase two, which is known as the preservation and improvement phase. Phase one consists of skin care, manual lymph drainage applied once or twice a day, three to five times a week, depending upon the severity, compression therapy using short stretch bandages and padding material, as well as decongestive exercises and patient education. Patient education involves learning self-manual lymph drainage, self-bandaging, proper exercises, skin care, and proper care of bandages and garments, as well as education regarding lymphedema. Once a patient has been decongested or reached a plateau, he or she will enter into phase two. Measurements will be taken for custom garments if over-the-counter garments are not sufficient. This is the maintenance phase and is heavily reliant on patient participation. Patients continue with compression therapy using compression garments during the day and bandages at night. Regular checkups by the physician, preferably a lymphologist, and or a manual lymph drainage therapist are imperative as well as diligence.